Hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sid. I'm she that said, and this is That's What She Said. Today we're going to continue my series <clears throat> of getting to know you spreads for all my tarot decks. Uh, today is the Five Cent Tarot by Madame Clara. Uh, Madame Clara sees all. I love just the whole idea of this deck. That's the cards. The box is cool. Comes in a cool little pouch. Um, it was a Kickstarter and you can get this now on Etsy. Um, and right now on Kickstarter, uh, they're doing a second edition um, where they're tr thinking of a, a different color. Um, I'm hoping for purple personally. Um, this one came I just like the green because, you know, even the sides were green. And the whole idea was this um, uh, Victorian poster art. So it's very fun. And because, though, I didn't realize it when I got it that it had um, these little keywords. But I think the keywords are perfect. Also, this deck has, I believe, 81 or it has at least three, four or five <laughs> extra cards um, because it, uh, in fact, one was just shown, the, the unknown, uh, that's card, what, 20, 22? Um, the idea that uh, in Victorian times, uh, the, the divina, divinatory, div, divinatory, div, yes, I know how to speak. Um, based divination, let's stick with divination. How's that? Um, quality of how tarot cards were used in Victorian times. And the whole um, Madame Clara and... If you go to the Etsy site, the Etsy site is the, the uh, Motel gift shop, which I think is just a brilliant name for an Etsy shop. Um, so the Motel gift shop on Etsy, where there's other Madame Clara. <clears throat> I think there's another Tarot deck um, as well, but um, this five cent Tarot one, like you would go to a little machine, put in five cents, and have uh, a little animatronic Madame Clara Pull the cards and give you your future. So, oh, what am I doing here? I said I was doing a get to know you spread. Yes, I am doing the new deck, Who Dis spread by the Astral Alchemist, as seen on Divination's channel on YouTube. And I'm going to be doing this for each and every one of my decks that I already have. It's a little divot. And I will continue doing it when I get new decks. And I actually have a few I haven't unwrapped yet. I think those are all Oracle decks. I did ask Dee, and she said that you can do this for Oracle decks as well. Okay, have I said how much I'm loving how... It must be this linen ones. It just shuffles so well. I, I do have this penchant for... I just like shuffling. They're like, stop already. Okay, I'll stop. I will now begin the process of choosing five cards. It'll be a five card spread answering specific questions. It'll be one. Um, I've seen several people online um, use this method for choosing cards and I, I kind of like it because I never really like just taking the top three. I also don't like the idea of me just selecting randomly. I don't know why. Um, it still, still doesn't seem random. If well, there's two, when I even if it, I'm you know doing this and selecting because you just kind of go through the deck and select, right? This seems to be the most random way. No, not that one. That one. And as I've done before. If I feel stumped, I will reserve the right. So I've tried to have the camera closer, which gives me less room. So first question, what type of readings does the five cent row? Of course, you pick the unknown card for what you like best, which is a card that isn't in other decks. 
So let's see what this says. Uh, divine faith or egotism, openness, curiosity, um, help me everyone. I don't think I've ever seen this word before. Shilon, S H E I L Shiloin. I'm I'm. <laughs> Is that just a new word? Reticence. I, I don't. I have never seen that. Pardon me. I'm just. Yeah. Where is my phone? Well, I guess I'll have to look it up later because I have never seen that word before. Um, and I'll look it up. Uh, I'm going to comes with a little booklet. I'm going to look up what they say the unknown should be because, well, um, I'm not so. This card represents the mystery of the unknown. Really. Um, as best represented by the unhatched egg, the tightly closed flower buds, not revealing their full beauty just yet. In a reading, perhaps it calls for one to look to their curiosity and have an open mind to discovery. In reverse, the message may be the person is too egotistical to see beyond the obvious and is, per <laughs> and is perhaps too shielded in their approach. Okay, so this card, this deck wants to be used by, well, anything unknown. I don't know, maybe, where's my pocket watch? This is the deck. Um, what's the weather going to be on Tuesday in November 2024? This is the deck. The unknown. Which is actually kind of cool to have a deck for just the, I don't know, your question is about completely something I don't know about. Five cent tarot. Because why? Where is my, there it is. Because Madam Clara sees all. First edition. I didn't notice that before. Oh, there we go. 78 plus 4. Remember I was saying 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, next one is what advice would help me in learning to work with you? The seven of the matches. Uh, perseverance. Um, so challenges, exhaustion. So yeah, so the advice I keep on giving this in places where either struggle or advice is I, I, I need to keep working at it, but um, I don't want to overwork and get exhausted. Um, vulnerability, I think, is not a negative, though here it's uh, upside down, which is usually made me a, a sign of the reverse meaning, you know, overwhelmed vulnerability. But vulnerability, I think, is something you need when reading the cards um, to be open to what it says and not be afraid of what you're going to read. So what advice would help me when learning? Just keep doing the work. Okay, how might I grow as a reader? Oh, another major arcana, the star, faith and hope. Well, duh. <laughs> I know I keep on using these very, um, very creative words like duh. <laughs> So, I like the fact that the starfish has got little shoes on. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> so, you know, the starfish with little shoes, he's taking a walk, do, 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 with the bird on his shoulder. So, faith and hope. I'm just going to go with straightforward that, you know, to be a star, I got to put shoes on and keep working, keep working and have hope. Okay, now I've got two cards here that came up for what I'll struggle with. Seven of buttons. <laughs> so here, perseverance is what I need. What I'm going to struggle with? Perseverance. <clears throat> and I, this is where I keep on getting <laughs> this card either here or here. The seven of matches. Um, and the page of cups. Curiosity, really? Will I struggle with it? Or maybe is it... Oh, you know what? Too, you can be too curious, people. And how is that? Well, because then you, you, you your perseverance suffers because um, you know, you get curious and you go off, you go this way and you go that way, and you don't stay the course. You don't, you're not diligent. You don't. See, look at you've got overwork and overworked. Um, 
perseverance, perseverance. I, I like how what will help me is also what I'm going to struggle with. Not great, but it's good to see that um, it's it ties in. <clears throat> Envy. Well, okay. Envy of people who are doing better, even though I think I'm doing it well, but they're doing better. That's always a struggle I think everybody has to deal with. Um, recognizing it that you actually do, not denying it, is part of the part of the process. It's like, yeah, well, oh, look at vulnerability, vulnerability. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to struggle with what the advice is that I should do, which just keep doing the work. Okay, how can I fully tap into your energy as a deck? Temperance? Patience? I don't have patience. <laughs> but another major arcana. Balance. <sighs> why am I always told to be patient and to be have balance? Why, why, why? I just want to go do that. I do like, you know, the turtle. Patience. The turtle in the hair, the uh, purpose, perseverance. Oh. You don't want to be excess. Let's see what's uh, imbalance, excess, impatience, patience, and impatience. Well, okay. So this is actually, I do love this deck. Just the images just are fun. Um, but it's a platypus. Just how how far would you go to get a platypus on your tarot card? You got an alligator. Um, also in this deck, um, let me find it because it just cracked me up. Uh, the the hierophant. Um, I know it has nothing to do with what we're doing right now, but let's see if I can find it. Oh, here's another fun card. The Magician. Look at the spider. He's got his little top hat and his shoes and his white white gloves. Oh, here's another. If you've listened to my other, I'm irritated with using the hangman, the bat, because though it does look cool when you have it this way, I think it looks great because it looks like somebody standing. But as far as I understand, the Hangman is, uh, you know, indecision. It says letting go. Uh, it's usually a different point of view, perspective. A bat, that isn't a different point of view for a bat. That is how a bat sleeps. They just do that. So using that as the hangman just, just annoys me because I, though I think, yes, I get it's cool. You're like, oh, look at, we're going to use a bat that hang upside down. But no, the bat hangs upside down. That's why, oh, here it is. Love this. The arrow font is a praying mantis. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just cracks me up so much. <laughs> okay, I know this has nothing to do with the reading, but I had to share. Um, so, if you have a question of something you don't know. Anything. Madame Clara sees all. And the five cent tarot is the one we shall use. Again, give me your questions. I will have details about how you can ask me questions. I'll have details about the cards. I'll have details about, well, as much as I can figure out down below. Give me your questions. Let me answer them. No, I'm sorry. It's not me. It will be the cards. And yeah, pick a deck. See you around. Thanks for joining me. Bye.